freaking.com. Anyway, back to our, you know, soldier, our hypothetical soldier in this hypothetical guerrilla army. His town is occupied. There are three enemy command posts in the town. Maybe our soldier's first duty is to, or his first act is to throw his collapsible, uh, suppressed sniper rifle into a bag and throw on a camouflage cloak of some kind. It's becoming increasingly impossible to put things on to make you almost invisible. By the time we have a free country, I'm sure that technology will be fairly well developed. He heads for the nearest woods and starts reconnoitering his town from wooded backyards and hilltops. He spots the outskirts of one of these command posts. It's a lookout. Lookout has a vehicle. He watches the vehicle carefully for an hour to make sure there's no civilians coming near it. And he tries to put an explosive round uh, through the fuel tank. The vehicle is too hardened. Round bounces off. Nothing happens. But there's no way to tell where the shot came from. He's got a suppressor or a silencer. He puts in an armor piercing round. Puts that through the gas tank. No explosion. The gas just leaks out. He flees the scene. Very little has been accomplished, but very little has been invested. The sniper learns from his mistake, aims differently next time, or uses the you know, armor piercing round the first shot, and screws up another gas tank. It's the opening phases of the war. The defending free country has not escalated things very much, let's say. Maybe they've not even authorized killing any enemy soldiers, even though they're occupied. Our snipo tour continues his long distance sabotage, getting better and better at it. Maybe there is a wiki up on the internet somewhere, or the dark net, uh, where people anonymously are able to post their experiences, what works best and worst with different types of attacks. The military secrets of the invading country become more and more known, published to the general public. There's some way that all the guerrillas can access this information, learn more about how to make attacks. Maybe there was already a wiki before the invasion occurred explaining all the things that they knew about the enemy's weaponry. Presumably some of the members of this army would have purchased uh, or uh, been provided electromagnetic pulse weaponry by this time, maybe even before the war started. Let's say there's a different soldier who doesn't really, uh, he's not much of a marksman, so he, uh, he, let, he prefers to fight by carrying around backpack EMP weapons. These are not the kinds of uh, nuclear type bombs you might think of in the, uh, in the traditional weaponry world. They're short range devices designed to uh, disable perhaps a 50 square or a 50, 50 yard radius. So you could use them to knock out an entire vehicle park or a an enemy communication center, at least temporarily, again without physically harming anyone. Uh, maybe these weapons would be used as a sort of more peaceable uh, version of uh, uh, improvised explosives devices. You can leave them by the side of the road and uh, the enemy vehicle drives by, you set it off. Hopefully, uh, well, there's no other traffic in the area. Are you a liberty activist willing to be on the front line against socialism? Freekeen.com would like you to consider moving here to Keen. While Keen may have the largest number of liberty-oriented media outlets in the entire state of New Hampshire, there's still a need for more activists. Can you help them? Visit Freekeen.com to see what's happening. Freekeen.com hooks you up with all the Liberty Media in town. Join the Keen Liberty Activists and help free the beautiful city of Keene, New Hampshire from the clutches of the government. 
freekeen.com.